What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using one of the strongest Pokemon ever. We got ourselves a slacking team for ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to slacking, it has one of the worst abilities of all time. It's got Truant. If you guys do not know what Truant does, every other turn this Pokemon is not able to attack because it's drowsy. It's kind of just like laying there doing absolutely nothing. So we're pairing it up with Galarian Weezing with Neutralizing Gas to take away all abilities on the field making slack and get rid of its ability and attack every turn like i said very strong pokemon very high attack stat we're gonna be picking up some big time kills with this pokemon slacking has life orb as item rock and stellar terror type with double edge high horsepower player off and protect really like this move set because you got big time stab damage and then two coverage moves with the stellar terror type you can pretty much rock any move you want now let's talk about galarian Weezing. great on the supporting side with that neutralizing gas ability and a citrus berry as item it's got Strange Steam for stab and attacking. Then it's got Taunt, will o -Wisp to burn physical attackers. And last but not least, we have Protect. Our final four Pokemon on today's squad going to feature Garchomp, Talonflame, King Gambit, and Sinistra. Sinistra is going to be our support Pokemon, can heal allied Pokemon, could also Rage Power to protect allied Pokemon. Talonflame can do big time damage with like Brave Bird, do Wing Beat, or it can set up Tailwind if it wants. And then Garchomp, King Gambit, obviously big time physical attackers. Garchomp's got that soft sand to boost ground type moves sword stance double its attack stat and king gambit always doing big time damage with defiant countdown gleam iron head sucker punch and low kick guys you want to run the team for yourself run the code is at the top right hand corner and if you do enjoy today's video don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel but without further ado let's hop into match number one showcasing this life orb slacking team First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a double Swift Swim squad. They got themselves Swift Swim Basket Legion and Swift Swim Overkill to pair up with Palafin's, not Palafin's, Pelipper's Drizzle ability. They also have Amoongus, Golden Go, and Hisui Digisijuai, who's such a dope Pokemon. But from here, a solid lead for us could just be Slacking and Weezing. It's just solid all around. I mean, they can't sit the rain that way. They'll have no abilities. I think that's solid, and the Slacking could do some big time damage all around. If they want to lead a physical attacker such as overquill or decidui we can just burn it so i like these two ezra leads so i'm going to lead them um in the back end i kind of want to go in with maybe like king gambit because this pokemon's actually pretty good up against bashku legion and last but not least we could go into sinisha if you want or i could just go in like garchomp and garchomp's just a solid pokemon to choose from or i could go with the sharp beak bird sharp beak bird is not bad especially with first turn priority i think i'd rather go garchomp though I think I'd rather go Garchomp. I do like Garchomp here. Especially because, obviously, Talonflame's fire type. We don't want to take big time stab damage to rain Pokemon. We, we would just die in one hit. We don't want Focus Ash. We have the Sharp Beak. So, better off going with Garchomp. We'll probably soak up a shot. At least get off a shot. So, I like Garchomp as a late game Pokemon. But, I really do like this Slacking and Galarian Weezing lead that we're going to pull off here. And look to just pick up some KOs. If I can drop Double Edge, I would love to. Or even uh, coverage moves that are super effective. That can work really well for us. But they're going to end up sending out Golden Go and Bashkill Legion, which is okay for me. It's not terrible. It is not terrible. Two gas, or not gas types, two ghost type Pokemon. So I can't use Double Edge, but high horsepower working pretty well here. You're not going to swap into Pelipper. I really doubt that. So I'm just going to go high horsepower and I'm going to burn Bashkill Legion. I think burning Bashkill Legion could be good. I mean, I could maybe just like Terrasize into Flying. Because I do not like being a fairy type. You know, we are going to try slice and flying. I really do not like being a fairy type here. We're going to try slice our wheezing here, which is pretty odd, right? It's definitely odd, but I, I, I have to, I feel like. I feel like I have to. It's funny how this air balloon just goes on the smaller smokestack. <laughs> it's so weird. But it's so funny. But we're going to see a terror type pop out from him as well. Hopefully it's in the basket legion slot. I actually like that. And it's gonna be Golden Go, which is kind of sad. What type are you gonna go into? You're gonna go into Straight Steel. That's totally fine, actually. That is totally fine. So you're just gonna boost your damage up a little bit. Um, good thing I went into this high horsepower right here, which is just gonna absolutely dump on you. Pretty massive. And I honestly didn't think Slacking was gonna outspeed. So everything works out perfectly for us. That Terra was just like a safe, a safe thing going on. So we do that. He's going to go for a wave crash. We should soak no problem. It's good to know that slacking out speeds. It's really good to know. So wave crash does great damage to me. He's going to pick up some recoil from the life orb and the move. And Will-O-Wisp is going to connect. So we're taking this thing pretty much out for the rest of the match. I wouldn't say out, but we're having his physical attacks out, which is really, really good. So, I mean, he can Aqua Jet me all day if he wants to. 
He can Aqua Jet me if he wants to. Um, do we think Aqua Jet's gonna KO? I don't think so. Especially without rain. Without rain, Aqua Jet shouldn't be able to KO me. So let's see who he ends up going into. I doubt it's Pelipper, but it's probably Pelipper. No, it's gonna be Overquill. So Overquill comes out here. Um, Slacking, what's your speed? Cause you are cooking on the speed board. You are flying here. We're flying here. 152. I mean, if you're outspeeding Basic Legion, I think you're outspeeding this Overquill, but Overquill is pretty fast. Um, hmm. From here, let's just go for a double edge. Let's just look to pick up a KO on the Overquill. So I'll double edge up and. Might as well just go into a strange scene. Hmm. I mean, I'll double down in this slot. Just in case Overquill outspeeds. I don't think it does, though. I really don't think it does, so. They go for Aqua Jet. I'm almost positive we should be able to eat that. 50 HP. This thing's burned. I get it stab, but we should be fine here. And there's the Aqua Jet. Yeah, we soaked that all day. All day. Thanks to the burn. He's going to lose a little bit of HP there. Double Edge going to launch it. Bye bye, Overquill. You're not surviving this Double Edge. Get it out my face. Honestly, I probably should just went for like a high horsepower there. Not take the recoil, but it's fine. It's totally fine. I, I kind of wanted to use Double Edge. So that works out perfectly for us. That happens. Strange Steam is going to fly over, and you dodged the attack. Lucky you. Lucky you, but you're taking some mean recoil, mean burn damage, mean life orb damage. We haven't touched this thing yet. We actually haven't touched this thing. But from here, I could just go into Garchomp. Chances are it's Pelipper as their last Pokemon, right? Definitely, it's Pelipper. It's got to be Pelipper. I'm just going to go into uh, Garchomp here. So Garchomp's going to come out here. No abilities right now, which is great. So I feel like we're controlling this match really, really well. And I feel like when you ever going up against like Galarian Weezing, it's just so tough to play up against. Especially if you don't get rid of it, because then you just can't do your combos. But Pelipper's going to come out here. I could Swords Dance if I want to. Um, I'm thinking I'm just going to protect Garchomp. Because they're really looking just to get rid of him. And then just go a strange steam into that thing. Try to get rid of it and turn it into a 3v1 situation. So let's see. See, they could honestly double down into Weezing here. They could definitely do that, but I'm going to just protect the Garchomp. I'm going to just play it simple. Because somebody has to be attacking Garchomp, correct? Basically, he's going to protect. Okay, so that's a fine turn. I mean, you could set up a Tailwind, which wouldn't be bad. But the burn is our, our biggest thing. Our burn is our biggest thing. Like, they just haven't attacked my Weezing yet, which is just great. And they're going to set up a Tailwind. Okay, let's just attack here. Let's just attack. Let's just double down this Basically Legion slot. Make sure that this thing goes down. And we can just win this match, no problem. So, I'll Dragon Claw. I will go into a strange steam again. I haven't landed one yet. I missed one, and then I got protected on one. So, I'm trying to land one here. I'm trying to land one. I guess for last respects, this could do some damage. Yeah, it does decent damage. He's going to lose some life orb damage. And his Pelper Hydro Pumping. Now he's going to Hurricane. Can we soak this? Garchomp does not. Really hurts the soul, but still. I think that's a fine turn, because as long as I land this attack... Which I should. I do. Basically, you should die here. Yep. And cool. 2v1. So, yeah. We controlled this match super, super well. I mean, Slacking did monstrous damage. Taking out the Golden Gun one shot. Then taking out the Overquill one shot. But the biggest part of this was Weezing just taking away the rain. Right? Like, they're, they're, this whole team was just built around, hey, I want to set the rain. I want to outspeed you. I want to do big time damage in the rain. And then from here, it was just like, no, you're not allowed to. And it worked out so perfectly. It worked out so perfectly. So, Hurricane's going to attack us. It is going to miss... Thank you. You weren't KOing us anyway, but you had a chance of confusion. The steam is going to fly. Doing half damage. That's awesome. Caltech Cleave's going to finish this match off. GG to our opponent. We start things off 1-0 with slacking. Moving on to match number two, and we're going up against Arch Ludon without a rain setter, which is kind of odd. Maybe they just have Arch Ludon on this team just to kind of deal with rain teams because rain teams are kind of hard to deal with. But they got Whimscott. They got Ursaluna. On top of that, they got Dusclops and uh dragonite and king gambit so pretty solid team they could go into trick room which i don't like so i honestly might just go wheezing and slacking i think this is solid for us because i can always just like taunt the trick room user which would be dust cops and just kind of go from there yeah i'm so down so i'm gonna go into both of them again it just seems like a solid lead for us it does seem like a solid lead for us so i think they're our best option um king gambit could come in here talon flames not bad as well um you don't have a fire move with the talent point, which kind of kind of hurts. So you do have upper hand, though. You have upper hand. I think Garchomp's going to be a great option here, just in case they want to bring that Archlodon, because it could just be there for, like, stamina boosting and then body pressing. 
That could be good. And then if we go King Gambit, we'll Sinish Chef for support. I just think King Gambit's solid. I think we're going same squad. I think same squad just works perfectly. I think it covers a lot of uh, each other's weaknesses, especially uh, up against these guys. So I think we just need them. I just love Sucker Punch. I love having like a first turn priority move on the team. It just can come up clutch a lot, especially like when you're going up against like a Tailwind team where they just have a lot of fast Pokemon. Sometimes it gets to the point where it's just like, hey, I can't outspeed you. You're just going to sweep this match. So Sucker Punch could really come up clutch in that sense. But well, they're going to go Arch Ludon. They are going to end up going into Whimsicott here. Now, this is kind of scary, making me want to go into a Terra type, a Stellar Terra type. Um, I could just taunt the Whimsicott. I mean, you're going to be faster than me, so chances are you're going to be able to set up the Tailwind. What else could you do? Do you have Charm? You could maybe have Charm, but I just think attacking you could be our play. You could go for a uh, Flash Can here, but I think just attacking you and Stellar Terror into a high horsepower is my call. It's my call all day. Arch Ludon's just too beefy. It's too bulky. Plus, I am scared of Body Press, so I'm kind of looking to just one-tap it. I don't know if I can. Like, Slacking hits hard. Like, as you guys seen in the last match, it hits hard. Now we're going to get that Stellar Boost on top of that. High horsepower. Arch Ludon's super bulky, though. Let's see how this one plays out here. Fake Tear is going to come across. Okay, hold up. You should outspeed Slacking. You should outspeed. Okay, you do. Let's see how much damage you do. Big dog slacking for the KO. Oh my lord, I love you. I love you. Get it on out my face. This is what we wanted to do today. This was what we wanted to do. I might swap slacking next turn. It really depends. There's a minus two on special defense. The steam's doing decent damage. Um, If they throw out a physical attacker, I am just going to try to burn it. It's going to be Ursa Luna. Let's go for a double edge here. We're just double edge this thing. Do we think we're gonna die out the Moonblast? Might protect. Do, we, do you think I'm gonna die out the Moonblast? No shot. I know I'm minus two, but no shot I die out the Moonblast. I'm gonna attack here. I'm gonna see a Terra type. You better not be Ghost. You better not be Ghost. You gotta be normal Terra here. You gotta be normal Terra. You're looking for damage and damage only. Yeah, you. It, you better hope. You better hope that my slacking dies, because if not, you are gone. Terra boost it, double edge. You go for Tailwind. Hold up, we might be dead. We might be dead. Slacking still outspeed this thing. I'm dead. <laughs> I didn't think of the Tailwind. I didn't think of the Tailwind. My boy's surviving. My boy's surviving, but oh no, this is tough. The fake tears got me. I didn't think of the Tailwind option because I was I was so set on just attacking. I do have Citrus Berry. I do have Citrus Berry. And the steam's gonna fly here. Probably leaving you on one. Is that the thing? Yeah, about one. Alright. Hyper Voice, not looking good at all. Not looking good. I really wish I had Terra at this point. But I need it, Terra, to kill that Arch Ludon. Low kick. Look at Mighty Fine into that bear. Hmm. I'm gonna go Garchomp. I think I need some speed here. Mm -mm -mm. What am I doing here? What is the play? I think I gotta protect Weezing here. Hyper Voice probably flying. It's gonna be Hyper Voice and a what's it called? Oh, this is brutal. And a Moonblast. I'm gonna protect. I'm gonna double protect here. I'm gonna double protect. I think this is Moonblast Hyper Voice because they know we don't have Terra anymore. They know we do not have Terra. Oh man. Speed's kicking us. Okay, so there's the Moonblast. Um, swapping Garchomp into what's called is not bad. Swapping the Chomp into. into King Game is pretty good. They got two turns left in Tailwind, so that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for an attack here, try to take out you. And we're just going to swap, because I, I believe that's that's what they want to go for. I think they're just going to continue with that. So we'll swap, and we can look to protect the guard shot next turn and get rid of Whimsicott. 
Not good for us. Not good. We have to get rid of Wimscott if we want a shot at this, but... Again, not looking good because they can still, like, blood me down. Moonblast's gonna fly here. Of course, he gets a crit. And a special attack drop. But that boosts my... Oh, I don't have my ability. I was gonna say that boosts my Defiant. I don't have my ability. So Hyper Voice is not doing that much damage. They have one turn left in Tailwind. I get back my Chomsky, which is really good. Um, neutralizing Gas is gone. Abilities are back. And you could just fake tears me. I could su I could go for Sucker Punch. I could go for Sucker Punch. Do I go for Sucker Punch? I feel like I have to. I feel like I have to. And then I go for the Swords Dance and just try to go plus two. Because who could your last Pokemon be? Could be Dragonite. Could be King Gambit. I'm going to go for Swords Dance here. And I'm going to go for Sucker Punch. I'm going to hope you're going for Moonblast. Okay, cool. You are going for Moonblast. So we get rid of you. Show me another Hyper Voice. Show me another Hyper Voice. Or you can take out my King Gambit. I mean, Tamlin's going to end. Which is why I want to go for Swords Dance. Earth Power. That's fine. That is fine. That is fine, because Tailwind ends, I get off Sword Stance, I'm plus one attack, I can start going for EQs. EQ can do nice damage, I don't know if it's going to KO Ursaluna, but we're going to hope it does, because we have to KO Ursaluna. If we don't KO Ursaluna, we lose the game, because it's just going to Blood Moon me with normal Tyrant KO me. Because I believe their last Pokemon's King Gambit. It's got to be Gambo, right? Which we can one-shot. Is it Gambo? It's Gambo! Hold up! I'm making plays here. It's all about EQs here. So EQ, it's going to be Stab. King Gambit's dead. We already know King Gambit's dead. It's, it's going to sucker punch me. That's his play. It all comes down to us KOing you. That, that, that's legit how this match comes out. That's that's what it comes out to. But I just want to just want to check out stats. You got the Soft Sand, which is good. Good old Soft Sand to boost the ground type damage. You are maxed out on attack, which is awesome. What more can we want? What more can we want? I'm ready to launch it. I mean, we could use a ground turn, but I'm ready to launch it. Sword Stance was a great call here. This is our best chance at winning this game. There's the Sucker Punch. We knew that was coming. And I have rough skin damage, but this thing's dead. He, he already knew that. Earthquake launching for the win or for the loss? Come on, man. Come on. I make all those plays just for one HP Bandit Ursa Luna to take me out. I'm trying, guys. I'm out here trying. And you get a crit. Thanks. Thanks, game. Thanks, RNG. Love you. Love you so much. Hate this game. So, guys, we're sitting one and one. That last match really hurts the soul. It really hurts the soul after making a good play, reading them, setting up the Swords Dance, and then looking to win. And then, obviously, one HP Bandit comes through, and then they crit on top of that just to, just to rub it in. But, hey, we're one and one. We are dominating with Slacking. Slacking is doing a lot of work right now. And I might do it again here. After looking at his team, I think it might be in our best interest just to just to do that, right? I mean, they're probably going to lead Incineroar, right? And then have a fake out user, which isn't bad. I mean, I can just double protect and kind of go from there. And I think I kind of like that the best. I mean, they could have Parasol, but they ha they won't have Shadow Tag. So that's really good just to go in both of them and kind of kind of stop a lot of this nonsense. So I'm going to go into both of these guys. Um, hmm. In the back end, we could go Garchomp and Sinisha. I kind of like Sinisha a good bit in this match because Machigachi can actually do some damage. So, yeah, I'm going to go Sinisha here. A little bit of support action. And last but not least, Chomp. Or do I even go into Talonflame here? Nah, we're going to go Chompski. Chomp's great, dude. Chomp is just so good. Especially, like, Sword Stance boosts to Chomp. Like, you've seen that last match. The damage was just ridiculous. I mean, one tap in the King game, but Should have KO'd that Ursaluna. I'm not I'm, I'm done complaining about it. I'm done complaining about it, but I feel like I have every right to complain about it. <laughs> nice little 1 HP. Nothing hurts more than that. It's like, okay. Especially, like, when you're making plays. It's like, dude, come on now. But Golden Go Robombi's gonna come out here. Which I don't mind. I mean, high horsepower can just, you know, say night-night to that Golden Go. And, and we already proved that, like, we're outspeeding Golden Goes. Because you're pretty fast slacking, which is awesome. Like, look at this thing's attack stat, too. It's absurd. 231. Oh, my lord. Was 152? Speed? Absurd. And 228 HP. Like, that's why this Pokemon is so good. But I'm just gonna go high horsepower here. I'm gonna look to KO you and kinda wanna just like taunt Rabombi. Kinda kinda seems like it, it's up to no good over here. So I'm just gonna taunt Rabombi. We'll see a terror type. Is this just gonna be like a steel terror here? Is, is this the same thing that we've seen in match number one? Right? Was it match number one where we just did this? 
Because they're not they're not ready. They're not ready for slacking, just out speeding. They simply are not. Oh yeah, they're like what is this is a combination of match number one and match number two. The fake tears comes out here, we say night night to golden go. <laughs> we waste out terror. But people are not ready for the speed of this Pokemon. It's just like strangely fast, right? For the most part, like if you're like just starting off like playing Pokemon, you can eye Pokemon down and be like, okay, he's pretty big. He is not that fast, but when it comes to slacking, it's like, okay, he's pretty big, but he's fast. It's weird. It's definitely weird. Because, like I said, like the, like, the, like the thinner, smaller Pokemon are usually faster. Like, Whimscott's fast, Shen Pao's fast, Fluttermane. And then, like, the bulkier Pokemon, like Snorlax. Like, you look at Snorlax, you're like, okay, he's slow. Like, you look at Primarina, you're like, okay, that's definitely mediocre speed. And it is. So, I'm going to be able to outspeed Primarina. I'm just going to go into a double edge, finish this thing off. And... I guess I'll start dealing damage on the Rabombi. I guess so. I am minus two on special attack. Which really sucks. And Rabombi's or special defense. And Rabombi's KOing me! See, this is just a this is just a This is just a mix up of match number one and match number two. Where that that kinda happens. They outsped me and then picked up the KO. But we're gonna get the confusion on Rabombi, which is pretty good. Hyper Voice is gonna fly here. Do respectable damage. Rabombi's going crazy on the speed board and you're gonna third spray out the third spray is here um going in sinister is actually not that bad for us i can heal up our our wheezing and on top of that i can do some decent damage with matcha gotcha so sinister out and about we love us some sinister oh i don't have my ability i do not have my ability so i'm just gonna do this and i think i just protect you i can see a double down into this slot we do have Rabombi confused, which could be could actually work out pretty nice. But Rabombi KO my slacking with a Moonblast was well, minus two on special defense, but still, like you just don't expect that. <laughs> like a Rabombi 200 HP shot. It's actually sick. It's actually sick. But Sinisha, it can do really good damage on the Primarina. Plus it gets back a ton of HP. He's gonna end up withdrawing Rabombi, getting rid of that confusion. That's no big deal. And Ursuline is gonna come out here. So this is five by me. I mean Macha Gotcha's doing work here. Machigachi's gonna do work. We end up protecting. Machigachi's gonna outspeed. We're gonna be stab super effective on the both. How much damage are we doing here? I love this Pokemon. Like I said, it does damage. Moonblast's gonna launch and we probably should attack here. But we outspeed and we're gonna get back a ton of HP here. So I'm gonna do this. And I'm just gonna double down into the Primarina slot. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yo, Matcha Gotcha does damage. It does damage. More importantly, it gives back HP. So if they don't protect any Pokemon, we have a shot at going back up to close to full here. Look at this, yo. They, they weren't expecting the, the damage dealing Sinister. The damage dealing Sinister. So he's going to end up withdrawing Ursula going back into Rabombi. Rabombi's gonna come back out here, and I believe both my Pokemon outspeed Primarina, which should actually put us in a really good position. Steam comes out here, does nice damage. I'm gonna say Night Night to Primarina. Rabombi's back out here, and that does great damage for Rabombi. We're gonna get back some HP here. We're gonna get back some HP. Critical hit on Rabombi. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Look at this HP. Back up to a Hundo? 99. 99. Now, the real question is, we pretty much need, uh, we pretty much need, uh, Sinisha to soak up a Rabombi Moonblast. That's our one issue. If we soak that up, we win this game. If we soak that up, we win this game, no problem. I could just Terrastalize, but, like, Fairy's not gonna really do much, but I'm just gonna go into Machi Gacha. I am just gonna go into a Steam, and I'm gonna double down on Rabombi because Ursula could protect here. You got Tailwind. You got Tailwind. Oh no. This is ugly. This is ugly. Hyper Voice is going to fly here. And it's not going to affect my uh, Sinisha because abilities are gone. Glaring Weezing is just awesome, man. No abilities. I, I totally forgot about that. No abilities, so he's not allowed to hit me. And Sinisha is going to win this match. Matcha Gotcha flying. Do your little twirls. Do your little twirls with your Matcha. Night Night. Double KO for Rabombi. Well, not Rabombi. Double KO for Sinisha. And the win. That is awesome. But crazy set of matches today. We go 2-1 for today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Slacking in ranked regulation age. This Pokemon was insanely strong. You guys seen, I think every time it landed a move, it
KO the Pokemon. It was one-shotting everything left and right. Weezing, low-key the MVP in today's video, taking away all abilities, burning Pokemon, dealing respectable damage with its stab move. Everything about it was great. We got to use Garchomp, we got to use King Gambit, Sinisha, doing big-time damage match number three. The only Pokemon we haven't used was Talonflame, but I'm okay with that. We've used Talonflame plenty of times on the channel. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend a positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.